So first we're going to talk about, okay, who is, who is this Jesus? And so we all know that Jesus is the Son of God. So if we go to John uh, chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Which we have looked at and our own hands have touched. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. So the light appeared, we have seen it and testified. And we saw what we have seen and heard so that you can also have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. All right, awesome. So let's go to let's go to verse fourteen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what? Can we go? Can we go back to verse one? They're full of grace and truth. So here we're talking about Jesus. Yeah. So yeah. when you talk to people, you have to make the distinction that Jesus. Is God. So we got the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and that I, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. But okay, so so here we see the scripture saying, Hey, there's there's one God, but he came in the form of a man to live amongst us. So he's both God and he's both and he's also man. So he was fulfilling all the prophecies of the old testament. And this was so that the Jews, the Pharisees, and the Sadducees. All those people who had memorized the whole first answer, before Abraham was born, I am. Mm -hmm. And that's significant because these people he were talking to had memorized Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. They had it all memorized. He's saying, hey, you know the I am that, that you've been talking about since the days of Moses? That's me. I'm here. So, so Jesus is the Son of God. And so second, we have to ask ourselves, okay, so, okay, why did he come? So the, the first one is easy. So he came for our salvation. He came to redeem us. Right. All right, so right. let's go to Romans chapter 3, 23.